Hello everyone and welcome to Drive Steady. Are you tired of getting high payments in your car lease? You thought leasing was supposed to be affordable, right? Well today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to build your own lease calculator using Microsoft Excel to help you get that low monthly payment you're looking for. Starting out with just a couple of the basics. So what is car leasing? It can be described as paying for the depreciation of the car over the term of your lease. Uh, plus your interest and your fees. What? I know, I know. You're saying all I care about is my lease payment, right? And yes, but stick with me here, it will make sense. You'll need to know three basic things. First is the MSRP of your car. Second is the residual value of your car at the end of your lease term. And third is your money factor, which is your interest rate. So you're saying, how am I supposed to find out the lease residual and the money factor for the car I'm interested in getting? Well, I'm going to tell you, you go to google.com, you type in the year, make, model of your car, and you add lease residual towards the end of it. So for example, you're interested in a Mercedes C-Class. Go to Google, type in 2019 Mercedes C-Class lease residual. There are several search results that have this information. However, the one I find most valuable is the one from Edmunds. You ready to build your calculator? Let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is obviously have Microsoft Excel launched. And the second is to start typing in these words in column A. So residual, money factor, MSRP, selling price. I like to skip a line here, residual, residual value, depreciation cost, interest cost, total without tax, tax, and monthly payment. So now that you've got these items here, now you're going to want to type in formulas for these values here. So residual value equals B4 multiplied by B2. And I'll start explaining to you what these mean once we start plugging in numbers. So depreciation is going to be B5 subtracted by B7 divided by 36. And we're gonna want to, you're gonna want to put an equal sign to make it a formula. Here equal, this is now your interest cost. So now we wanna do B5 plus B7 multiplied by B3. Now you get your, now we're down to the total without tax. So B8 plus B9 And now we're going to calculate the tax. So this is going to be depending on where you live. So for this purpose, I'm going to type in 9% tax and type in my equal sign. For some reason, I'm forgetting that. And your total is going to be B10 plus B11. All right, so you've got these formatted now. Your formulas are in there. Now you've got to plug in your numbers and this is going to be depending on the research that you did that I mentioned earlier. So when you go to Edmonds and you get your residual value and your money factor and your MSRP is something you know just from building price tools and general research. But so residual value that's represented in a percentage. So let's call it 60%. Your money factor is a decimal value. Let's call it 0.00152. Your MSRP, let's call it a $40,000 car. And you negotiate a $37,000 final purchase price, which is a $3,000 discount. So you'll see as you start typing in these numbers, the calculator is starting to calculate your monthly payment. So let's just start going over it. So your residual value is B4 multiplied by B2. So that's your MSRP multiplied by your residual. This is the price of your car at the end of your lease. 
This comes into handy if you're purchasing your car at the end of your lease and also comes into the calculation. So your depreciation cost is your selling price of the vehicle subtracted by the residual value. So this is the cost you're going to pay. Remember there are two things, the depreciation cost and your interest cost plus the other fees. So depreciation cost is $361 a month. Next is your interest cost. So you're going to take your selling price and you're going to take your residual value. You're going to add them together and multiply them by your money factor. So your money factor is a representation of the APR. So your interest rate, if you want to know the exact interest rate, you take this number and you multiply it by 2,400 and that'll give you the exact rate that you're going to pay. So you're going to pay $92.72 per month in interest. So now you've got the two main items for your lease, your depreciation cost and your interest cost. You're going to add these two together like we did here, B8 and B9, and you get, you're going to get $453.83, give or take. Now you're going to do the tax. So you take uh, the total monthly payment before tax, you multiply it by your local tax rate, sales tax rate at uh, let's call it 9% and you get $40. So now you take that $40 and you add it to the $453 and you get a $494 monthly payment. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, right? One thing to keep in mind is that the monthly payment here does not include the dealer fees, licensing fees, DMV fees. The reason why we didn't put that in there is because for every state, for every county even, it's different. So please pay attention to that and please be aware that your monthly payment is going to be a little bit higher here, but at least what this does is it gives you a good baseline. And when you include your tax and title and I mean your licensing fees and your DMV fees and your county fees, your, your payment shouldn't go up substantially, maybe call it another 20 30 40 dollars but that should pretty much be it like i said this should be a good baseline for you to get the payment that you're looking for so that's your lease calculator if you like what you see please go ahead and subscribe but please also more importantly share your thoughts with us in the comments and let us know if you like videos like these till next time drive steady